Yes, there was echo. <laughs> want to begin to give thanks to God tonight for another opportunity to call upon the name of our God. It's a privilege to always appear before him and table our request, asking him the desires of our hearts. We want to bow and bend before him. The Bible says, O oh, shall not fear thee, O oh God, and glorify your name. Revelation chapter 15, verse 4. Let's honor God. Let's adore him. Giving thanks unto the Father, Colossians 1 12, who had made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who had delivered us from the powers of darkness, verse 13, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his name, the forgiveness of sin. Let's thank him. Let's honor him for the privilege. have a covenant relationship with the Almighty. Thank you, Lord. The great justice to have an amazing relationship with the one who owns the universe, who owns heaven and earth. Let's bow and bend before him is God. Talo da bi re oluwa, ko se ni ti a le fin ibo, olorun to da ye, olorun to da orun, olorun to da e mi e ni yon. Inye, ogo, a ti agbara, ni a fun, yi ni a le yi. Honor him from the depth of your heart and soul and spirit. Look at what God has been doing in our midst. Look at testimony I shared. I shared testimony last week, telling us of the power of God to answer prayer, of the power of God to intervene, telling us of the prayer we prayed and how the Lord intervened and how the Lord took control. Who said God does not answer prayer? Who said that God does not intervene? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. For me, let me adura, koma shere mi lo ju oku. For me, let me adura, mi lagbara o baba. For me, let me adura, koma shere mi lo ju oku. For me, let me adura, for me lagbara o baba. For me, let me adura, koma shere mi lo ju oku. Give me the spirit of prayer. Give me power, Father. Give me the spirit of prayer so I will not be tired on the battlefield. What a prayer. We're going to pray and tell the Lord that the spirit of prayer shall descend on all. The Bible says it shall come to pass in Zechariah that I will fall upon the house of David and the habitant of Israel, the spirit of grace and supplication. The spirit of grace and supplication. Let the spirit of grace and supplication descend the village upon us. Tonight, we will not struggle in the place of prayer. The Holy Ghost will pray to all. You know, when you pray mechanically, that's how you battle and struggle. But when the Holy Ghost take over, it takes over, and then you will pray seamlessly without struggle. You will be aid and to the assistance of the Holy Ghost. Let's pray that the spirit of the Lord will invade our heart, will invade our soul, and invade our spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's talk to God in prayer. Ask the Lord now. Call upon the name of the Lord. That the spirit of the Lord shall take over. We're talking about a very important subject tonight. And that the Lord God, the prayer will not just end here. You know, there are people, they only enjoy praying with people. They cannot pray on their own. They don't have any personal prayer life on their own. They don't have any personal altar on their own. They don't have personal devotion of their own, except they come together to pray with people. Their own personal life, nothing is happening. No prayer altar, no calling upon God in the closet, in the sacred. They only come together. But do you know that's not enough? You need to develop your own personal altar. The devil will not only just see that you are coming together with other people. 
your own altar has to be on fire too. You will not always be with the people to pray. This is why you don't want to try on or trivialize your own personal altar. Tell the Lord and say, Oh God, the spirit of prayer, it shall baptize you with that spirit and power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. I'm reading Genesis. Genesis chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. We saw a case there of Cain and Abel. In Genesis chapter 4, I was so read Genesis 37. There are a lot of scripture. Yes, last week we started uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we started this series. And last week I told us of the case of Ataliah. And you saw what Ataliah did. If you were with us last week, you saw what Ataliah did. How she killed all the royal seed and the uh, except Josh because Josh was captured away by the 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 aunt or the sister and the that's how Josh escaped. Atalaya would have wasted everyone in that home and she became a queen after Azariah her son was killed. Azariah her son was a bad king, evil king, wicked king. She couldn't train her own son well. And now her son was killed and she wasted the royal sea. What a wicked queen. What a wicked woman. She destroyed the dream. She was a dream killer. And we prayed vehemently last week, you remember? And then I also told you the story, revealing to you other people. I revealed to you even those Pharisees and all that wanting to waste our Lord Jesus Christ before his time. But we saw they could not. And we trust the Lord tonight, all the dream killers that are after our destiny, they shall go down in the name of Jesus Christ. In Genesis chapter 4, Genesis chapter 4, please, I don't know if they can hear me, but I want to believe everyone can hear me. Genesis chapter 4, uh, I'm taking it. Pastor Matthew, please, can the people hear me? Can everyone hear me? Genesis chapter 4, yes, I'm from, please, can you hear me? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. In Genesis chapter 4, in verse 3, and in the process of time, it came to pass that came forth of the fruit of the ground, an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect, and Cain was very loud. And his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why are thou proud? Why is thy countenance full? If thou doest well, shalt thou, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, see lights on the door. And unto thee shall his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with it, Abel his brother. And it came to power when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Do you know now? What led to the killing of Abel here? It was simply jealousy. And uh, Abel did not offend Cain at all. It was an unprovoked kind of anger. There was no any misunderstanding between Abel and Cain. Just for the fact that Abel was accepted by God, that was all. I hope you know that there are people whose destiny have been truncated, wasted, squandered, destroyed, and obliterated by the powers of darkness, not because they had any provocation or whatsoever, or they did something, anything wrong. No, they didn't do. It's just that the, the spirit in their polygamous home, or their neighborhood, or their father's house, were jealous of the progress they were making. And as a result, they were wasted. No covering over their destiny, they were wasted. No covering, no covering. There was no defensive mechanism, and so they were killed. They were like Abnan that was killed by Joab. And David cried, died like a fool, died like a fool. We will not die like a fool. We will not be killed like a fool. Our destiny will not be truncated like a fool. Our future and the children that are coming out of our loins will not be obliterated like a fool. In fact, David lamented because Abner, who was 
a captain of the host of Israel, for that matter, to have died like a commoner, to have died, I will not die a commoner. I will not be killed like a commoner. I will not be destroyed and wasted. I'd like you to be very angry tonight. There are wicked spirits. There are wicked power. There are wicked agents. There are wicked personality. There are wicked forces. I am telling you, every home and every tribe and every family have some peculiarity that follow them. You want to go before God. Before we do that, let's look at something very quickly in Genesis. Genesis. This one now, we saw it, it was sibling, sibling. And now we're looking at Genesis 36. What happened in Genesis 37, rather, not 36, 37? In Genesis 37. In Genesis 37, in the case of in the case of Abel, his life was cut short. He died. He died. He died. His enemy prevailed over him. His enemy conquered over him. His enemy killed him. Cain was his enemy. But let's look at this book now. Genesis 37 in verse 5. And Joseph dreamed a dream. And he told it his wedding. And he ate them yet the more. And he said unto them, Yea, I pray you this dream which I dreamed. For behold, we were binding sheep in the field. And lo, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And behold, your sheep stood round about and made obeisance to my sheep. And his brethren said unto him, Shall thou indeed reign over all? That was their problem. They weren't happy with that dream. They wanted to kill his dream. They were dream killer. His siblings were dream killer. And were they able to kill the dream? No. Were they able to kill the dreamer? No. They were not able to kill the dream. Neither were they able to kill the, dream, uh, the dreamer. The dream was kept alive and it was fulfilled. The dreamer was kept alive and he became a savior to, to the people. But now, whoever and whatever power that is after you, Wanted to kill your own, kill your family, kill your marriage, kill your job, kill your children. You will be alive to witness their downfall. You will be alive to witness their destruction if they don't change, if they don't repent. You will be alive to witness. They are coming down. Let me now show you a promise as we go before God now. I will see how... The, that man, Abel, was brought down by his brother. And now you saw the case of Joseph. Do we have any promise for us? Let's see quickly. Do we have promise? Yes, we are. In Psalm 89. Psalm 89. Quickly. Psalm 89. I read verse 22. Psalm 89. God's word very powerful. Psalm 89, verse 22. I read here. Yeah. Psalm 89, verse 2. The enemy shall not exact upon him. Hallelujah. Nor mm. the sword of wickedness afflict him. Hey, he said, the enemy shall not exact upon him. Nor the mm. sword of wickedness shall afflict him. Look at what will be your testimony at the end of this series that we are looking at. Look at what will be your testimony at the end of this series. You know, don't think that God's servant just brought this series for a joke. There will be massive testimony, massive, massive testimony. I am telling you the, the real thing. There's mass, there will be massive testimony. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, what will be the testimony in Second Samuel? You may not open chapter twenty-two at the end of the series. This is what many of us will be saying. This is what many of us will be saying. Look at it, Sam, Samuel, Second Samuel twenty-two, in verse twenty-nine. For that my lamp, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. You will do that already. Verse thirty. For by for by thee have I run through a troop. Listen to me. By my God have I lived over a wall. Do you understand that? 
For by my soul, I escape. I escape. We shall escape their trap. We shall Amen. escape their plan. We shall escape their nets. We shall escape their manipulation. We shall escape mm -hmm. their manipulation. Verse 31. As for God, he says, the word of God is right and all of that. And revealing all of that to all, in verse 34, he maketh my feet like the king feet and setteth me upon my high placing. We want to go before God. Verse 35. He teacheth my hands to war so that mm -hmm. a book deal is broken by my hand. He teacheth my hand to war. He teacheth my hand to war. Tonight is a night of war. We have few minutes to pray, and we want to war. We want to war. You are going to pray. Prayer point number one. We are praying for our children first. We are praying, and we are going to declare it loud and clear. I refuse to bury my own children. I refuse. Oh, oh, Father, oh, God of Father, I refuse to bury my own children. I refuse to bury my own children. Enemy shall not exact upon them. Enemy shall not exact my children. Enemy shall not my children. Enemy shall not kill my children. Enemy shall not kill my children. portion of my family in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Please, I want us to be following the way I'm leading. I do not try prayer point. I don't try prayer. I, I, you will not find me writing prayer points anywhere when I'm leading prayer most time. And so please, let's follow because I trust God there will be massive testimony. Please, let's get this clear. Now, in that, uh, I, I, I don't know if I told us a story here before, where a woman told her daughter, because her daughter refused to go her own way. In other words, she wanted her, her daughter to do negative things. And her daughter is a child of God. That one was ready to do the will of God. And she went ahead to do the will of God and married the mother. And eventually the mother telling her own daughter, when your own daughter began to die, one by... In fact, the way it was said that the mother put the word, and the daughter they took it lightly. She took it lightly until her first baby came, and that first baby died, as mm. said by the mother. Just the way the mother predicted and declared. And then it was then. I think the daughter was in a meeting. She now realized, oh, my mother said it also. Now, they said, baby now is a lie. Prayer was offered. Declaration was offered. This baby, you must survive. That's the second baby now. That's why we are here. Every pronouncement and pronunciation, the money pronunciation of my children, the money pronunciation of my spouse, the money pronunciation of my destiny. Today, in the name of Jesus, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I pray that 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 any evil demonstration against my children in any way, tonight, Lord, I banish and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Any evil demonstration, any 
If you are not praying, I will be too surprised that you are not praying. I will just be too surprised. Now, the prayer point I led just now, we are going to take that prayer point again. Are you amazed sometimes how some warriors are brought down and brought low? And mm. it's very it's good too, how somebody can be so much on fire and yet the person was being brought down. A story was told of a lady who went to, I don't want to mention the seminary school in the West. I don't want to mention the state. Let's leave that down. And then that lady enrolled. Whether she enrolled or she just came in as a normal student or she never enrolled, but she came into that school. And then she knew that some things, person were being thrown to become a light and warrior that would be sent into the world. And she too, she was sent as an emissary of Satan to quantify those lights. And so she got into that school and she began. She began, she began, until she got to one particular servant of God in that seminary school. And that one was able to resist her, and then the lady left. The lady came back, whether after six months or so, or some months, not uh, immediately. You know, the devil can be patient with some people and get them at their unguided moment. Oh, you don't, many don't understand it. That time where your wife is provoking you and you get angry and you say me, at that time, if the devil wants to capture you, if not God's mercy, because there is a crack, at that time you are vulnerable. At that time where you are trying to get angry and you begin to say things you are not supposed to say, and then you get angry, you keep falling, and there is bitterness in the heart, and that is not your person. It's just that you were provoked at that time. At that provocation state, why he not God mercy? If the devil wants to capitalize on it, he can waste a warrior. And that was how this lady came back again after a long time. And then, by the time she came back this time, she was crying. And then she entered the office to cut a long story short. The drawing is like she came to reinforce that man of God had affair with her in that office. And eventually mm. that disappeared from that school. She was never seen again. <laughs> time for graduation, they were to graduate the people and they invited the man of God to come. And the man of God saw all the graduates, all the graduates, all the people graduating. He saw darkness all over there. What is happening? They were supposed to be having light. I mean, spiritually, may God open our eyes in Jesus' name. And then he mm -hmm. saw darkness all over their head. And he was worried. He was amazed. He was surprised. Why all this darkness? Cloud all over there. And they began to confess. It was the same lady. The same lady. 
the same lady. A single lady finished all of them. A minister of God was the one narrating this story. We are going to pray right now. As a pastor and as a leader, you might know your weak points. You might know some area that you are not doing fine. And at that vulnerable time, the destiny killer, the dream killer can penetrate. That's why some people baffle. How was this woman attacked? How was this pastor here? How did the devil attack this pastor? It was not that that pastor was a sinner. It, was, it could be that that pastor had a crack in the wall. And for that crack, the devil saw and entered through the wall. We are going to pray that every crack on our wall, that we give access to the dream killer. May God seal up that crack tonight now. May God seal up that now. You may need to repent. You may need to make restitution. You may need to ask God for mercy. It could be pornography. It could be defilement. It could be a lie. It could be that there are restitution you are yet to make. It could be that there are things God is telling you. Restitute, do, correct, do this one. To be telling you a prophet, tell the Lord, crack your wall. That keep asking to the dream killer. Keep asking to the dream killer. Let the Lord show mercy. Let the Lord show mercy. Let the Lord show mercy. Righteous God, blessed Father God, I come to you this night, O oh Lord. Oh oh, let's be Father tonight, O oh God of all flesh. Mighty oh Jehovah, I'm begging and pleading for you to show me mercy, Lord. I'm asking to amount in the name of Jesus. Be not merciful unto me. Be not merciful unto me. I need that we don't have to Every divine Amen. We are going to pray right now. Any altar that has been erected for any of us here, pastors and leaders who are here, and our beloved sisters who are connected, as many who altar, there is an altar, maybe speaking somewhere, against any destiny of anyone to kill them this year and kill their dream, and that their dream will not be realized. Let that altar catch fire now. Let that altar be destroyed right now. Let that altar be destroyed. In Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 5, the scripture says, God shall yet deal with them. They shall break their images. That altar that has been created against my master, all that has been against my life, against my children, against my children, Jesus, no altar will kill you. No altar will fire you. No altar will fire you. No you. No altar will fire 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 you. No in the name of Jesus, I say that altar of feelings by the fire, the Holy Spirit, the fire, 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 the fire,
e o pastor Psalm 11 verse 2. For behold, the wicked bend their bow, and they have fitted their arrow to string, to shoot. Let me, let me, let me use King James. Let me, let me read King James. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, and they may thread their arrow upon the string, that they may quickly shoot at the upright in the air. Sometimes you hear that some people are having high blood pressure here and there. And, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, uh, sometimes people don't believe something when they hear. It's when they hear some story says, so everything in the physical is controlled by this in the spiritual. Yeah. In fact, the spiritual is more real. The spiritual world is more real than even the physical world. Do you know an arrow can be shot against somebody's heart? And then that we have felt the, uh, the blood pressure, and then the person begins to have a kind of unexplainable kind of high blood pressure, and then heart attack, and the person will die. By the time they diagnose, they will say, uh, that man, it was stress. That woman, it was stress. They will not know it was an arrow that was shot. Hey, if you are go back to your center, if you are go back to your center, Go back to your sender. 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 Every evil arrow against my wife. Every people for whatever generation, in the mighty Father, my fulfillment in life in the mighty name of Jesus. For you say, surely they shall gather, but not by you. Every gathering, every reinforcement, every and every. Amen. Isaiah 33, Isaiah 33, verse 1. A baby for a baby for you all. See, I could buy Jetty or Banijer or Jotty or Bandek or Lati Banijer Laoba or Jetty. Oh, your bike. Whoa, to the spoilers. Whoa, to the tonight. 
all those spoilers in your family, spoilers, secretly spoilers, wanting to spoil your kid, wanting to spoil your children, wanting to spoil your wife, wanting to spoil your husband, they shall be spoiled. They shall be spoiled. They Amen. Shall be spoiled. Amen. Amen. That was not spoiled. They let treasures they did not treasure us in thee. When thou shalt see the boy, thou shalt be spoken. I'm not the one that. Amen. Amen. When thou shalt make an answer, they shall do it. Amen. The Lord spoil every spoiler. Oh God, spoil every spoiler. Oh God, spoil every spoiler. In the name of spoiler. Every spoiler. Lord, we spoil it. Every single one. God, we spoil it. And we will not let them. And we will not let them. And they will not trust me with it. For every spoiler. For every confession. For every treasure you give to me. In the name of God, we spoil it. For every confession. Oh Lord of heaven, every night in every agreement, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord of heaven, spoil it. Oh God, spoil it. Oh God, spoil it. My children, I pray. Amen. I hope, I hope we are seeing where I'm reading. I did not use my head to quote anything. I'm not quoting from my head. I'm reading from God's word. So somebody will not think, ah, why all these kind of prayer now? Are we not supposed to pray for our enemy and all that, and all that? <laughs> oh, no, many don't understand, many. I read to you now, Galatians chapter 5, verse 10. Galatians chapter 5, this is New Testament. This is New Testament. Galatians chapter 5, verse 10, I read. This is not for my head, this is Bible. I have confidence in you through the Lord, that ye be not otherwise minded, that he that trouble you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. He said he that... I, I hope you know there are people who will not want you to enjoy your marriage. I hope you know there are people who don't want you to enjoy your husband. I hope you know there are people who will not want you to enjoy your children. I hope you know there are people who do not want you to enjoy your meditation life. Enjoy your life and enjoy the dream and the labor of your hand. I hope you know there are powers of darkness everywhere. And Paul the Apostle became so angry in the spirit. And he said they that trouble you, you shall bear their judgment. Oh God, Amen. I love you. He said, I will the God that trouble you. Father, arrest, arrest, uh, Holy God, destroy, destroy, uh, my God, destroy, uh, Father, destroy, uh, Holy God, destroy, uh, Father, Jesus, my God, I said, I said, Jesus said them bear their judgment. Let them be troubled. Every troubler, every fool, every compassionate, every strong, every personality, every constitution, every walk, every thing. Everything should be my peace. Troubled by the people, my peace. So you are troubled. Everything should be my peace. 
let me pray for us as we close and round up or be on Angels are watching over all day, all night. Angels are watching over all day, man. Amen. 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 Pastor, yeah, uh, Pastor, Pastor, you have thank you so much. The Lord is your strength, and I believe in God that uh, as the Lord has used you to be a blessing to the people to, tonight, God Almighty will reward you spiritually and He will strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. Before I call on Pastor Matthew, I have less than four minutes. I want us to take notice of this that by the grace of God in Jesus' story, I'm going to bring this series to an end next week, Thursday, in Jesus' story. We are going to conclude on this series about dream killer. And I thank God for this, my pastor, that uh, who the Lord have used upon Thursday and also tonight. By the second grace of God, please let's invite other people, let's also share uh, the link to the our friends and our colleagues that there is a program going on on this our prayer online. And yes, we hear this testimony in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 I told you the first time I opened the series, there was a particular sister. She had a tree. Without, without her knowing that the husband is about to get to the husband sick, the husband is held, when he wake up, the husband is that, the husband is it. When that he said, she remembers to cry, that she saw this thing in that tree, that she went in that tree to buy caskets. Coffee, all the person the coffee in that tree will present the, the death of, of, of the husband. It was too late. <laughs> Before I call on Pastor Matthew, you are going to pray one prayer, pray, one prayer prayer. That every of that day against you, the Lord will throw them down. Amen. Overthrow them. My friends, let the power of God come to them in their face. In the name of Jesus, we send them to death, we send them to this, we send them to this, we send them to this. I come to death. I am my baby. Let my husband, I can't be dead. I can myself. Let of Jesus. Oh Lord of heaven, you fly with the senses by all the senses. I can't tell you who will not prevail against us. Amen. Somebody put it on our platform that he did, he did, God will settle him in his marital life. 
that God should even provide me a good wife. And I told him to forget. Maybe this, maybe it's online now. I may not know. I'm going to pray for that brother that the Lord will give that brother to the soul of his soul, the flesh of his flesh. That's when I'm going to connect him. I Amen. Thank you so much. May God prosper every one of you. May the hand of God rest upon your life. I call you the Talking about the dreamer, uh, uh, the person where the God uh, most is to the essence that you will see that uh, influence like language like my my own tribe. When they call you Joseph, they say Joseph Alala. Joseph Alala. Uh, is dream so important in the life of the uh, Christians and the life of individual? What thing happened to to Joseph? And this is it. He had the dream. He believed the dream would be fulfilled. He told the father. The father believed the dream would be fulfilled. But here is it. The man was put to the feet. So many people, the dream has been ended. Uh, he, at long run, he found himself in the prison. And this is what happened. In the prison, he interpreted dream for order, and the dream came to pass. Here is the uh, Somebody, please, in the place you are, there they are talking behind. If you can move it for us so that it will not be distracted from. Uh, I don't know if the person is with us or not. They are talking behind the... So, the, the what happened to Joseph is this. The other people are achieving their dream, but Joseph has not achieved their dream. My dear brother, my dear sister, in the Lord, who are those you have mentored? Who are those people you have trained? Who are those people who have come out of the class? Who are those people who have come out of the same ministry? Who are those people you, they are your age mates? You have worked together, you have done everything together, but nowadays, they are very far ahead of you. And then, if anything happens, you need to even ask them, ah, please, my brother, can you help me? Can you do this for me? Can you do that mm. for me? And then, you work together in, in, in this life. But the situation comes now, you need to look up, up to them. Please, can you pray for me? In the ministry, they are gone. Initially, they, there are some people. You will mm. have to call them, please. Uh, Lagbaja, although you are the one that I'm mentoring, although you are playing together, although you are the same classmate, although you are the same, you are in the, you are in the same choir before, although you are living together before in the same house, but situation happen now, you have to tell them, please, can you give me hundred naira? Can you give me five thousand naira there? And the, your own dream align, uh, just like you say, today is today. As, no, as God takes Joseph back to Amin, achieve his dream by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will achieve your dream, I will achieve my dream in Jesus' name. Amen. The promise of the Lord is that you will be the head and not the tail. All oh, the destroyer of dreamer, you can't imagine the leaders as a dream. For so you to accept the call of the Lord, to follow it to follow Almighty God to that level, to listen to, to the preaching, they are the, 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 the Simon on the mount. But at long run, they waited for him. He didn't take notes. It was very late before Judas realized 
that this is what uh, the handwork of them in his life. It's not oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of making it in the kingdom of God. You will not lose your dream in Jesus' name. You will not call upon the name of the Lord. You have not the dream you had. The initial stage of your life. You know the dream you have when you are growing up. You know the dream you have as a youth. That I want to become a lawyer. I want to be a teacher. I become a principal. I want to become a teacher. I want to become a pilot. I want to become this. I want to become that. If not the grace of the Lord. Uh, Joseph will have lost his dream. You will call upon the name of the Lord. God, you that restored the dream of Joseph. I call upon the name of the Lord. Let my dream be restored in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't think that it is too late. Don't think that it is too late. It was at the age of 80.
It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way that you will be back. It's not the way Bible told us Jesus Christ look at them with passion. And then he asked the children, the disciple, these people need to be fed. The disciple told them, this what available, this what available. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they were fed. They still have left over. Uh, Pastor Abli, you have called for dream, dreamer to die. I mean, dream, killer to die. Uh, I want you to look at the list of the people who are online. You have sold about somebody that is looking for wife now. We have had a lot of things that people that need one certain thing or the other and they can never be provided. We have heard about the people who are looking for job. We have heard about the people who are being threatened even on the job. We have heard about the people their marriage are shaking. We have about the people that even to have money to eat is a problem. The Bible says, "Just want to look at them through passion." Then, I want you to look at the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to look at everybody that was on this prayer line through passion. I want you to use the power God has given to you to set them free. 
because it is the will of the law to set them free. I want everybody that online today to have testimony. And I pray yeah. the blood of Jesus. Joy our eyes together. The testimony is coming. Amen. Share your testimony. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will set you free. God will Amen. Set you free. And the Bible said, the same brother said, there shall be shower or blessing. This is the promise of the Lord. There shall be system of refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Said the shower of blessing. Shower of blessing. Need. Mercy drop. Yes, we are living. Yes, we are eating. Yes, we are drinking. Yes, we are sleeping. But stay. This is not where we want to be. Yes, Lord. You, want, you can take us to mm. a proper level. Amen. But for the shower, bleed. And mm. by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the shower of the, of the of blessing shall be upon everyone of us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Conclude for us, Pastor Ray. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you because. You are our father. We are not orphans. We have to do the best thing of God to rely on God. We are every life. This prayer is conference. People come with different body, different challenges. And you know every challenge everyone is going through. As our faces are different, so the challenges of everyone on this platform are different. Oh Lord, I am maxing, I am praying. Tonight, let there be freedom. Amen. Amen. As many the devil has blocked, as many he has put inside the box, but the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost, I command that body to be broken. Amen. Amen. A person over there that you put on the platform, that somebody said that you should continue your suffering, that this, have, this, have, this one has gone beyond prayer. I command that evil report. I see that evil report away. And I command that person to the inquest. I pray for him. Specifically, Father, set this person free. Every confusion. Stop his heart in his soul, in our life. I pray. Take that suffering and that sorrow away. The prince of peace. Let the prince of peace call with peace upon his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My Bible says, when you leave, is every person that has not When men sleep, they invade our territory. When men sleep, they carry out their evil work. When men sleep, they come to some plant and plant of destruction and calamity upon the life of your people. And Jesus Christ said, Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. But the efficacy Amen. and the power of the blood of Jesus, let every plant you have not planted, each family tonight, let them be uprooted out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My body. I speak with the blood of Jesus upon everyone's ear tonight. Amen. Amen. In anyone's heart, all the sorrow in anybody's life, all the disappointment in anybody's life, and all the defeat in anybody's life, and all the the oppression, the devil is oppressing any family here tonight. Father, I command that the anointing of the Holy Ghost release freedom upon their soul, upon their family, upon their life from tonight. Let them receive complete freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Through this series, let's speak to the Jesus studies. I am asking that everyone 
will be completely free and then we have life testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We shall meet on start of day by the grace Amen. of the Lord. Our dream will not die in Jesus' name. We, get the we will live to share testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our leader will bring this to our mind that yes, we are dreamer, but we are going to be achiever in the name of Jesus Christ. And all our dreams are the power and the blood of Jesus Christ that we achieve. And we shall meet on Saturday. Amen. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord of God. And Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you.